this is this is the joy for lower car so we have to start you drive it up on some mini ramps and then that gives you some clearance so you can put a that gives you some clearance so you can get your main jack underneath but only after you've made a slight lift from the side uh, the back's only jacked up a short portion at the moment because if I go any higher I definitely can't get anything under the front of the car uh, but the car looks cool that's the price you pay let's have a look how we're doing so at the front on the cross beam it's a little uh, pressure treated number of wood down there and we're just going to get it up to the point that the uh, we can get it onto the jack stand to get these, get these ramps out of the way. Looking good. In the front of the car now, I'm gonna get some jack stands in there. Can you raise it, count the teeth, because we want to get this level. It's gonna be up there for a while. Always, always give your car a good shove when you're something you're really uncomfortable with before you get underneath there. You do not want to not be confident about what's going to happen when you're underneath. So we finally have a new project and it's all that effort. And one of these. Can you tell what it is? I'm sure, they will become clear at one point at least. So, while we've all been busy being locked up, well, some of us still have to work, but you know, I thought I'd ask, uh, ask MK Turbo to see if he's can rummage together a full kit and after this change of quite a lot of money he did in fact he managed to pull, pull all this and I'm gonna show you what all this is all together in about a week and the final part came in today so we're gonna start off the cars up on stands there's lots to do there but for those who haven't seen the MK Turbo kit before uh, mkturbo.com this is the complete kit almost a complete kit I've got a variable throttle position sensor and a wide band already installed, so we didn't put those on the kit. Apart from that, it's almost a complete kit. And remember, we're at the moment, coronavirus is uh, going around, lockdowns in place, not all components are easy to get hold of, especially those from China. So if you ever do order these kits, the parts will approximate these, but it's pretty much exactly the same as what we're gonna what you're gonna see here. So let's have a look at what's in all the boxes so if you've got a miata uh, of any year you may you may have considered going turbo and if you've been on the forums at all you know there are quite a fresh you know there aren't that many boxed options there's a cx racing uh kit they call it a kit even though you to, to have an up and running system you've got to go quite a lot further uh, and get quite a bit more investment on top of what you're paying for the kit there's the Fly Miata kit, which is a pretty good turnkey, not turnkey solution. Yeah, you know, well, you order it, you install it, you drive away. And then there's the MK Turbo. And uh, the MK Turbo kit is maybe a bit more DIY. We're, we're looking at 25 plus year old cars. There's always going to be, there's going to be some fun and games involved. So anyway, onwards again, let's see what comes in the kit. Intercooler. I know this one. Two and a half inch pipe, pipe, uh, whatever they're called on the end. Damn, brand new. Beautiful. Probably pretty exciting. Front mount should be a relatively easy install on this, but we'll see. And with that, Comes with a couple of brackets ready to go that'll hold it in place. I can't quite figure out how these are going to go in place, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. 
This could get quite messy, so please. So we got a probably a blow off valve. Let's call it a blow off valve. And the washers and bits of the bit go with that. Back to intercooler stuff. Intercooler couplings and these cool bands. Much better than your average. Um, you probably in the pipe clamp systems. This is kind of like that, but kind of what professionals use. Um, so you're ready to go. And all the different adapters that we should need to go up, down, inside, and get it to where we want it to go. Also, it come, comes in resealable bags, so you don't have to rip a hole. Oh, and I can't guarantee you're going to get this in every box, but I think that is 20. 50, I can never remember what, what's the dime, is that 10, we'll call that 10, 60 cents, nice, or is it 5, uh, yes, by the way, one of the cool bits, T3 manifold, and again, this is nicely done, uh, world's still done by uh, Lars, there is some cleanup that we can do to maybe gain some performance. Um, after posting on the Miata DIY Facebook page, someone recommended just give me a bit of a cleanup, see if we can help with the flow. Just gotta try not to go too far and put, put many holes in it. If I get any of these wrong, please tell me in the, in the comments. Uh, oil lines. I'm guessing that's a drain to the turbo, and this one's going to be a feed. Mega squirt. Okay, this is a mega squirt. Uh, mega squirt 3 Pro. What that means is very similar to the Speedy E5 that we've currently got installed, um, but more if you know I mean. so same kind of options same sort of fields um, but it does have plugs ready to go for the extras uh, that we may want this comes with excellent online support and some map tubing that's good looking good so far Piping, lots of piping. Intercooler piping and some other adapter piping and you get the idea. Intercooler piping. Good man. We're giving us positions for intake temperatures, uh, air intake temperature sensors, and I don't know what the other one is, but we'll work that out. These were the last item to get delivered today. Injectors and the uh, uh, ratings. Serialized, so we can work out what their flow rates are. And put it into the Mega Squirt. At least that's what I think we do. Along with these comes all the different parts that we, we may need, little filters, O-rings, stickers, loads of stickers, cool, flow force, flow force, flow force, keep them separately. So, injectors. If you want an exciting week of interesting deliveries and exciting items that you don't recognise turning up, 
this is the kit um, to order. Just, just stuff turns up. And then you're like, I don't know what that is. Actually, do I? Do I know what that one is? I think that's for the ordering. Bring a tap and your plug. This is going to go into the... Um, where the oil pressure sender is. This cap something off. These bolts do something else. These probably hold the turbo in place. These are bolts for also holding the turbo in place. And these are nuts for something we haven't discovered yet. So we will. What is that one for? Hmm. Oh, but he does provide almost everything you're going to need. Anything else you need for the kit is easy to come by and relatively cheap, like gasket. Like gasket. Make sense now? How about put a little old thing here and a custom welded Magnaflow exhaust system. How exciting is that? Uh, and that's obviously V bands and additional hanger because this muffler is humongous. And one of these can today, a wastegate actuator. One of these turned up the other day, looks very similar to a wastegate actuator with the flappy paddle bit. I don't know what that's all about. Turbo gaskets, they're not really fast gaskets, they are gaskets for the turbo. And finally, definitely not least, we have our little friend. Let's see if we can get into him. So, right here, we have a turbo, turbine, whatever it's called, AR.60 turbocharger, ooh. I've watched YouTube and people generally put their fingers in there, spin it, and say it's got some play. Um, it doesn't seem to have any play, but I'm not sure what that play is. We have to clock this and do stuff like that to make it fit right. We'll work it out when we get to it. I think Car Passion Channel is our friend when it comes to that. In fact, Florida Witch is definitely not an instruction. This is an infotainment uh, series on trying to install an MK Turbo. I'll show you everything I do, um, but I definitely, definitely would follow someone else for instructions. So that's all there is for that show. Sorry, not much uh, informative going on there. Uh, next episode, we're going to start taking the bits out of the car, getting ready to put the new bits in. Uh, that'll mean taking off the manifold on a 25 year old, 26 year old car. That will definitely be interesting. That may be a whole show. Um, taking the uh, uh, current air intake system out. Um, probably having to take something off here because I'm going to have to do injectors too. Didn't think about that. Should definitely order some more um, gaskets. Uh, and let's try and put the air uh, intercooler in. How hard could it be? Until next time.